All right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. Um, I greet you all once again today. Um, uh, this is going to be a very quick broadcast. Um, I'm trying to. Uh, this is going to be a very quick broadcast. Um, there is a very, very important message that I want to pass to our people today. I welcome you all in the name of Chukoki Kabiyama. You people already know that we are not going to stop on this Biafran restoration project. <clears throat> very, very quick one. Very, very, very quick one. I'm not going to waste much of your time. We are here to set the record straight. Of course, a lot of you people have saw what is going on around Biafra land. Uh, we saw Asari Dokubo let me fix my, 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 my heart very well. About the Asari Dokubo and um, Asari Dokubo, you know, you have said a lot of things. I'm here to set the record straight. Um, if you go to my article, if you go to my article, what I put there, I said, Asari Dokubo, hopeless, and Dave Omahi. I'm here to shock every one of you. I'm here to shock every one of you. Their plan have failed. Their plan have failed. And they can never return once again. They can never return again. That is why I'm here. You see, uh, Asari Dokubo have said a lot of things about the Biafran people, or the Igbo people in particular. And uh, we, have, we have been seeing his attitude. We have been seeing all manners of evil. And, uh, you know, Asari Dokubo is a kind of a man that always worked for his stomach. And there is no doubt about it. Asari Dokubo worked for his stomach. And I'm going to shock every one of you. Their plan, Devo Mahi, Hope, Ozo Demba, and Asari Dokubo, these people are one people. They are not the same. You know, when they are telling you about Trinity, they are Trinity. They are those that are causing problems today in our land. And we are not going to shy away from reality because we always face reality. And I hope my voice is coming out clear. Let me just uh, listen to my device here to see if my voice is coming out clear. I just want to see. Just give me some minutes because I have to check all of my device to be able to know that my voice is coming out clear. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, it's coming out sound and clear. Then let me continue. Like I said, I'm not going to waste much of your time here. I know a lot of our people are on social media now, even though uh, Mazi Jonathan is still on this platform. Uh, we control uh, one of the biggest platforms on IPOB Rapture Media. Uh, Biafran Television, there's no two ways about it. And we will keep on preaching the gospel of redemption to our people till Biafra is totally restored and beyond. That is why we're here. But let me introduce myself. Like I said, I don't want to waste much of your time. At least this broadcast is going to last highest one hour. Then I will drop it. You are welcome once again, great people. I greet you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time zone. And some of you that are about to sleep, I will also say good night to you, to you all. As you remember, as okay, now, okay, chukun known as the Biafran child in Washington. The general. I am from Ehala in Anambra. Anambra in Biafra land. I am IPOB under chain of command. Mazen Nam de Okuchuku Kano is a prisoner of conscience. And Mazen Nam de Kano is the highest commander and the highest authority in this movement of Biafran restoration project. But as it stands so, as it stands today, Mazen Shike Dozem is the one in charge. And we are moving forward. There is nothing any one of you can do about it. But now pay attention because I have to explain things to our people. Asari Dokubo, 
devil on my head. And hopeless, these people are Trinity. If there is something like Trinity, they are working together. We have saw Asari Dokumbo town with that number castigating the beer from people, saying all manners of things to, to them. But we want to tell Asari Dokumbo this. He can never cause problem between hinterland and coastal region of Biafra land. He can never. Asari Dokubo is just an individual. He knows nothing. Of course, when we are saying that Asari Dokubo knows nothing, it's not that he's, you know, he has that bitterness in him. You know, Asari Dokubo so much hate Mazen Namdekano because he was thinking or he want to be in position of Mazen Namdekano. I want to tell you people the reason why Asari Dokubo deviated. I want to tell you people the reason why Asari Dokubo joined Mazen Namdekan. That was then. I want to prove it beyond reasonable doubt. So you begin to understand that we don't lie. Asari Dokubo want to take the position of Mazen Namdekan. Asari Dokubo was telling Mazen Namdekan to step down so he would take over. After Mazen Namdekan have united our people together, Tell them that Biafra is our last hope. Asari Dokubo was there, stabbing Mazen Namdekano. Why Mazen Namdekano was giving all his heart, trusting his according to, because Mazen Namdekano say, Asari Dokubo, my brother. Mazen Namdekano don't even know that every secret, everything that he discussed with Asari Dokubo, Asari Dokubo is giving it to Devo, Devil Omahi and the hopeless souls of them. And I want to shock every one of you. Their plan, because they have a plan. And they will never succeed. Because you know, whenever somebody plans for you, and you understand the plan of the person, that means that they are, no, they are not going to work again. So as I'm speaking today, I want you people to tag Asari Dokubo where he is. I want him to listen to this broadcast. Of course, I never see that idiot one-on-one, -on -one because but he had already been replying me, he had been writing to my page, even though trying to want to talk to me. But I told Asari Dokumbo, you, you are nobody. You see, what I have is enough for me. I don't need all this nonsense from you people. That is something I don't want in my life. Asari Dokumbo was stabbing Mazen Namdekano. Why Mazen Namdeoku Chukukano don't even know that the man, do you know that this Asari Dokubo, when, the, when Mazen Namdekano thought that Asari Dokubo is somebody that we can be able as a so-called brother, because it's our, you know, when they tell you a, 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 a useless and a stupid and nonentity brother, that is who Asari Dokubo is. So there is nothing you can see, say in this life, Asari Dokubo is a Biafran. But now he's there he's denying so, the reason why Asari Dokumbo was doing what he's doing today, because when Mazen Namdekano called on Asari Dokumbo, Asari Dokumbo was telling Mazen Namdekano he's the one that's going to take over our ministry. Mazen Namdekano, being a smart species, he understands that if you gave this man to be in charge of our Biafran soldiers or Biafran army, this man is going to sell out overnight. That is where the problem started. All the whole plans, all the whole things that Mazen Namdekano spoke with this idiot called Asari Dokubo, he went out and gave it to the Nigerian government. Uh, he don't know that we also getting feedback from also the Nigerian government. Let me tell you people something, something you don't even know about this struggle of Biafra restoration project. A lot of people want Biafra to be restored. Because there's a lot of, a lot of, see, every indigenous people in that contraption, there is a problem everywhere. Being you, the, even though the common Fulani, they are feeling the heat. The, even though the common Fulani want Biafra to come so that they themselves will live as a human because there will be a competition. We don't know that every secret that we are discussing with this idiot, Kwasari Dokubo, a man that uh, honor, 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 was, 
I don't even know how. Nah, eh. We, we saw the letter, the last video of Asarito, but when he was castigating, saying all manners of evil about Mazen Namdekano. And you people have forgotten that this man is a pipeline guider. Mazen Namdekano called this man to, you know, to give him a better life. At least, Obugodu, wait, go lose, oh, wait. Come with Andrew, I'm a leave. Asarito Kubo cannot walk, eh, Asarito Kubo cannot walk two minutes. So, the problem of Asari Dokubo is like, we have taken away that thing that he want from us. Because he want to use it against us tomorrow. Mazen Namdekano be a smart species. He saw it in him. He said, no, we are not going to work with this man. And I'm going to shock every one of you what Mazen Namdekano. Asari Dokubo demanded 200 million. I want you people to know this is the man that is fighting for. He, he claimed that he's fighting for his freedom. He demanded 200 million. What is he going to do with 200 million? Ask yourself that question. Because Asari Dokubo, the money that this man has, you know, stolen from major people. Do you know that Asari Dogubo is nobody in Ejo land? Kalebari is nobody. Asari Dogubo is just, I don't know, it's a, it's a wicked species. You know, when we say this, you know, because we say things the way it is. We set the record straight. When we are telling you that Asari Dogubo is nobody, he's nobody because he don't reason. He don't understand. He never thinks. But when you are talking about wicked species, Asari Dokubo is evil. You see all this one that he's telling you that his father we are selling slaves. His father we, all this thing is just bragging. I will come to that. The reason why he was saying so. That is why I tag Dave Umahi and hopeless those of them. You will know the reason why Asari Dokubo was saying that we are going to kill the whole Igbos. You know they planned. To, to rendition of Mazen Namdekano because of their political ambition. All of them today, they are crying. I want you people to keep on selling out your brothers. At the end, okay, Fogunanya. Today, now, are they still agreeing with, uh, with the Fulanis? I don't know. They have begun to use their tongue to count their teeth. Because you think that you will sell out your brother, you will think that Fulani will love you. You think that you will do anything you feel like, kill your people. And Fulani will come back and tell you, hey, right on. No, you must be a highest betrayer when you sell out your brother. And you think that the person that just bought your brother are going to love you. Believe you me, things never work that way. Even though you yourself use your common sense and think about this thing that I'm saying right now. Nobody will ever love you. Because they know that you are a betrayer. That is exactly what is happening to Asari Dokubo today. Do you know that Asari Dokubo carry men from Karabari, our brothers? He went there and slaughtered our brothers. Because what I'm trying to tell you people today, go and ask Asari Dokubo, those men that he took from coastal region to Biafra, to hinterland of Biafra, tell them, did they return back? I did a video about it. Call the mothers and the fathers of those, uh, our brothers and sisters, that are trooping or moving or they are transporting into Biafra land. I told them, warn your sons and daughters. They are not going to come back. Go and ask Asari Doku, but I'm not going to begin to repeat it. But I'm just getting there, little by little, how I connected this broadcast between Hope, Ozodemwa, and Dave Umahi. They are evil people. And their time is coming. Their plan has failed. That is why you have to tag Dave Umahi. You tag Hope, who's of them one, to the extent that Hope, who's of them one, wanted to plan. He planned to blackmail me, to bring people out there and be saying that I'm the one that giving them guns and bullets to kill our people. That is exactly what Hope, who's of them one, planned about me. When I came out and debunked it and exposed him, he couldn't go further. 
and now they are planning another one. That is the reason why I'm here to debunk every lies, to set the record straight, to tell our people they plan ahead because we have already destroyed them. You don't know. You know, they think that they can use Juju to put enmity between the media warrior Chukuga Ono and Chani Noko. We are united. You see the media warriors we have today. Eh? You see the media warriors that Mazen Nam the Kano bring out and the leadership said that this we are united there is nothing any one of you can do about it now you understand we are not going to go back please please close the door please please close the door please thank you thank you thank you i am in high tension i want to expose every lies i want to debunk every deceit from all this devil mahi and the hopeless old of them. By the time I will finish with you people, you see all those your plan. You will go and replan because we are a thousand head above you people. You can never shake the foundation of this Biafran restoration project. Our people have back again, the media warriors, they have stand on their ground again and begin to move forward. Because you people are thinking that you are going to put an enmity, you bring this one, you bring a religion, you bring a, what they call it, our, our traditional, you, you say you want to, put, no, you can't do it. We are in one voice, we stand with one voice. We stand with Mazen Nam, the Okuchukukano, and the leadership that he put in place, DOS, the doors are wise. Believe you me, they are not good. You see all the plans, they are planning to assassinate the the mostly the leaderships i can never lie to you people mazi shina samoru have already you know you know put the article on his platform and i will go and bring it do you know that i tweeted this i tweeted the uh, the that article from mazi shina samoru they will they run 440 and go and remove it because I attack international communities telling them the plan of the devil omahi and hopeless those of them were I expose all of them. They quickly remove it. You know, they, they, they know how to, you know, color, color B people. So, Asari Dokubo, the reason why Asari Dokubo was doing all these things, because he had failed. His plan between the Igbo politicians had failed. That is why Asari Dokubo came out say that they are going to kill the whole Igbos. Those people that he was under them, they are now beginning to go back. Because after they planned to, to rendition and kidnap Mazen Namdekano, all their plan is failing. They understand their plan is failing. They, 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 because all our politicians, what they plan couldn't work for them. Fulani, overnight and they begin to reason that is why all of them still sitting on a round table begin to plan another one chukuga i'm here to expose every you, you all your tag hope those of them tag devil mahi devil mahi hopeless those of them and tag that stupid asari dokubo tag him this is the time we are going to deal with asari dokubo he's not going to find it easy this time around by talking down on Igbo people the first people on this planet of the number one descendant from chuku okikabiyama there's no two ways about it we are direct descendant from Chuku. even though asari dokubo father you know because of his position i know that you people don't know the reason why asari dokubo's join this indiana cuisine they promise Asari Dokubo if he can be able to bring IPOB down, we are going to make you emir of the whole eastern region, including coastal and hinterland. That is what they promise Asari Dokubo. By, the, by that time, Mazen Namdekano is still having some communication with this idiot called Asari Dokubo. We don't even know that every of our plan where Asari was distributing it to the, to the zoo. Well, like I said, Mazen Namdekano is a man that raising so much he think deeply he said no but how this information is getting out there he said asari dokubo from today upward there is, you will have nothing to do with you 
Because as a leader of Bogo, when he came, he want to be the commander. He want to be the army general. That is the plan of As I said that he want to be the army general of Biafra. Man said, Nambi Kano said, are you stupid? <laughs> so I will be out there preaching the gospel of the uh, Biafran Restoration Project. Telling our people, uniting our people, you want to come from backyard and take over army commander. Who are you commanding? A man that is uh, guiding pipeline and now coming to command the army Biafra. When Mazen Namikano said, you, uh, it's enough, enough. That is when Asari Dokubo begin to plan evil. Begin to plan all sort of nonsense to be able to, uh, you know, to, to rendition Mazen Namdekan. Today, he's still on it. Now he have already stepped into Igbo people. Asari Dokubo, we are going to deal with you. And I want to use this medium to tell our brothers and sisters from coastal region of Biafra, Karabari people, Okrika people, Ijo in general, don't mind Asari Dokubo because we are going to deal with Asari Dokubo. There is Asari Dokubo, if you people like, I want you people to begin to lobby the international community Telling them to begin to rendition people or begin to kidnap, you, you can never work for you. We have come to stay. We have come to stay in this Biafran. You see, the life we are living now, we are not alive. We have already, listen, we are already gone. We are just waiting the day that the six feet we are entered there. And we are not going to stop till our six feet. <clears throat> tell Asari Dokumbo, tell Dave Omahi, tell okay, uh, Dave Omahi and the hopeless host of them, but their plan have, let them begin to do meeting after the order. Let them begin to connive with uh, some, some, some hoodlums to, to begin to, you know, trying to begin to kidnap the leaderships. You can, it can never work for you people. That is why Mazi Shinas and Waru tweeted it. And I'm going to bring it out on his uh, Facebook uh, uh, platform. He said it. Some people who don't know that what Mazishin Asamori is saying is true. They, you see in Nigeria, they hate Mazishin Asamori so much. That is why I keep on telling you people. If Mazishin Asamori compromised in this Biafran restoration, we are gone. We are gone. That is why I keep on telling you people. Onye obona from Mazishi na Asamoru Mazishi ke doziye mo kene eno ya. Gwakwe from there, they are very powerful. The zoo called Nigeria are afraid of these people. Because they don't know what they can do. You know, I, I have told you people. You know, Mazin Namdekan, when Mazin Namdekan was out here with us, I'm still coming on that exposition because I will tell you people the plan of these people. That we have already, you know, you know, we always be with them. That is why I keep on telling you people, we will always double into their issue. Wherever they are gathering, as far as they are more than two, three people, we will be there. I swear. I swear. I swear. told you people that these men, these gallant men, media warriors that he has today, they are unstoppable and we are unstoppable. We are penetrating every of their meeting. We are in every of their conversation. We are in every of their gathering. We are there and there is no, nothing they can do about it. Even though in Asurok, remember when Mazen Namdekanu told you people, <laughs> he's getting information from Asurok. You think that he's lying? Because a lot of people also want to be free. They are just in bondage. Now you understand. I want to tell you people that Asari Dokubo said that his father uh, were a slave uh, seller <laughs> from Calabari. <laughs> a man that was from hinterland of Biafra traveled to Calabari and now selling his own people. Don't even listen to Asari Dokubo. He's a criminal. Asari Dokubo take people from Ijo down to hinterland of Biafra to go and kill our people. He's working. Asari Dokubo is working with hope. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you getting my point? Do you know that Asari Dokubo have taken the contract to be, I mean, taking people from Calabari, from Ijo, 
down to hinterland and uh, then we put them with a bubago asari is the commander of a bubago i do you are you i know you will be shocked i know you'll be shocked asari dokubon have killed have by a lot of our people I want you people to go and ask Asari Dokubo. Those people he took to hinterland of Biabu, Kebefano today, their mothers, their fathers are crying every single day. Because Asari Dokubo took their sons and daughters and go to hinterland and waste them. They are nowhere to be found today. And Asari Dokubo is lying to the parents of those people. You know, they know Asari Dokubo as a bad person. And Asari Dokubo really is a bad man. That is why everything about Asari Dokubo is a betrayal. Everything about Asari Dokubo is a lie. Everything about Asari Dokubo is a different, different. Oh no, chi, oh no, chi. They demanded 200, 200 billion or million from our leader. I'm going to play the video because we don't lie. I, we go to play, we go to show. We go to play. You see, Asari Dokubo can never escape this one. And I'm urging every Igbo speaking Biafra. I am calling upon the whole people that find themselves in that contraption called Daminable Zoo, Nigeria, the Igbo people. This is not about IPOB. <laughs> Are you feeling what I'm saying? This is not about IPOB. This is about the indigenous people called Igbos. Oh, no, no, you know that we IPOB, we have been saying this. Some of you, but I saw a lot of people, they have begun to reply to Asari Dokubo. Uh, they have begun to tell him also, Oriano, I trust my people. My people are not coward. We just find ourselves in that ge geographical entity that they have denied us everything in totality. We are strong people. We are warriors. Go and ask about Ekumeku. Go and ask them. We fought British people. We fought them to stand still. They are not moving. But today, you see, this is how this life is. That is why we are saying that we are going to go back to our root so that we are not going to keep on folding our hands so that when somebody did something to you, Omega 1, Omega 20, this is, you see this life we are. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, how did they put this word? It's a, Something like, uh, uh, um, I have forgotten it. Uh, you know, English is not our language. Something of fetus. I hope somebody can correct me, but I'm just using my, uh, my computer. So I couldn't. Survivor of fetus. Survivor of fetus. This is what this life is. Listen to me. If you think that they will, kill, they will buy you, and you come back and fold your hand and say, eh, Oga, eh, leave it for God, na lie. When they buy one of your own person, a pi 20, this is how they will see you as a strong person. That is why we said Biafra is our religion, and we are going to change the way of our life on Emeru 1, Emeru 20. That is how America are strong. That is the reason why they are afraid of Fulani today. Because you, if you do something, the Fulanis will bring their Boko Haram. To come and they destroy your village. And when they did that, you have that thing in your mind that, ah, if I did anything to them tomorrow, they will come. This is how it is. That is the reason why you are afraid of Fulani today. That is the reason why Erufai can come out and begin to say nonsense from his mouth. Nothing has happened. Do you, are you getting my point now? Just tell me an Igbo man that can come and tell you that uh, uh, we Igbos will rule Nigeria for 100 years. Full and it will come overnight. That is what we are talking about. We want to change the mindset of our people. We want to let our people know that they, what we are doing today is a survivor of fetus. If you are not strong enough, they are going to take everything from you in totality. We want to be a strong people. We don't want to begin to look people's face. When we want to do something, we are going to tie our hearts. That is how you are going to get your freedom. If you think that Shuko Kikabiyama will come from heaven and give you freedom, you must be a liar. We must take it by force. And how? When they buy your person one, you buy ten. 
One night tomorrow, they will say these people know they hear. Do you know the reason why Erufai was doing all these things? They have their own minister. They, when you talk, they will bring their foot soldiers. You don't know before. What give that Erufai impetus or what give him audacity to begin? And some people are saying that uh, what Erufai is saying is just on his own. It's a lie. Erufai is speaking for those his people. Do you know how many uh, Islamic scholars we are there that day that Erufai was saying that. Do you know how many scholars are there? Islamic scholars. Those people that went uh, backyard Sharia law or Sharia practicing from their backyard. Do you know how many of them are there? There are many. All over the state, all over the West Africa. They troop to Abuja. Now, I want you people to know the reason why Ediabani, Ediabani, which is uh, Asari Dokubo, because that is the reason why I'm here. Asari Dokubo, Dev Umahi, and hopeless host of them, your plan have failed. You are not coming. One name, you listen to me. Go and replan, and we are going to get all of you people. You people went to Kenya and kidnapped Mazen Namdekano. All your plan today is also to kidnap the leadership. Let me bring out what Mazishina Sangoru wrote. A strong man indeed. Mazishina Sangoru. I will keep on praying for you. Mazishike, Dosiema, we keep on praying for you. Mazi Abanyema, we keep on praying for you. Mazi Nzurumike, I will keep on praying for you. Mazi Isaiah Oba. Okay, Manama, Chukugo Ziono. Anna, Yana, Chokwani have, okay, Mimi, no, no, Chanine, they want to stop you people. But we know that no Kuai Kutra. O Kuai Kutra, I can There is no how on this planet of. They are going to stop the African people. We have come that we have come. And believe you me, I want to also use this medium to thank every media warrior that fought under these two years. We have, we fought, we fought, and uh, we, 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 we won all the battles. We won all the battles. What they are doing now is begin to assassinate or to begin to kidnap those people. Because they don't, Mazichin has some woro, Mazichin, I remember when Mazen Namkan was out there, you know Mazen Namkan, he has his own pattern. That is why I believe, believe you me, they, 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 they got to our people, I mean, during the time of Mazen Namkan, because they, our people always push Mazen Namkan. We will do a very wonderful and great job in our land by ESN. Some people will be saying, hey, Mazen Namdekano, what have you done? With the anger in Mazen Namdekano, because our people are so wicked. Our people are wicked species. Very nonsensical and idiocy in our people cannot allow them to meditate and be able to think deeply. To know that we are fighting for Biafran restoration. We are not here for community fracas. No. So everything you are doing has to be secret. Mazen Namdekan will come out and tell them we have chased them away. Dave Umahi, that is why Dave Umahi was so angry with Mazen Namdekan. Because he, he, Dave Umahi thought that Mazen Namdekan want to stop his ambition being the, 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 the uh, vice president. Why Mazen Namdekan was there is helping the Ebonis people to clear off their bushes. From the terrorists that are coming from Sahel, Niger, Mali, trooping into our territory, killing and maiming and killing, killing and maiming of our people, destroying souls and properties of our people. Mazen Namdekan stood on his ground and do the needful. Today, all of them have fled out. None of them are there. That is the why Dave Umai was so angry on Mazen Namdekan. And he planned that Mazen Namdekan must return. And all their whole plan today, there is no position. All Joe is supposed to learn by now. And I know that you will learn. All Joe's or Carlo will fought for you. That to show you how good Mazen Namdekano is. He urged the media warriors to defend all Joe's or Carlo. We did. What do you people pay us in return by rendition of Mazen Namdekano? 
by telling the Fulanese that are coming from Sahel, where Mazin Namdekanu lives in Kenya, uh, Dave Umahi, am I lying? Why do you hate on Mazin Namdekanu? Because Mazin Namdekanu helped you to destroy your own enemy that are coming, uh, coming every day, trooping, occupying our communities there. Mazin Namdekanu came, say, enough is enough. And because of your ambition, because of your political ambition, nonsensical that I don't even know where you people are getting that from. Now you understand what I mean. That is why you hated on Mazen Namdekan. Why Mazen Namdekan is there helping our people so that Fulani will stop killing our people. But you don't understand it. You are just focusing on your ambition to become a governor or become a vice president. Where are you today? Nowhere to be found. Or Jose or Carlo. I want you to come back. You see, that crying you cried last time, it could not help you. But I want you to return back. Forget about this, your ambition of political uh, senior president or that. Forget about it. Come back. Come back. Because that cry you are crying, I know that uh, it hits you so hard. And you understand that we are not lying. Now, I don't want to go to Ojo Zocalo. Ojo Zocalo, he have already cried, and he understand that these people are using him. Asari Dokubo collected 20 million from Omazen Namdekano. Am I lying? I will prove it. Asari Dokubo told Omazen Namdekano to pay him money to train our men. As Omazen Namdekano pay Asari Dokubo money, Asari Dokubo was training his own Indian criminals. Pipeline guiders, you have oil in your backyard and you are paying. Oh, Mazen Namdekanu, you it wasn't a mistake because you want to carry everybody along. It was not a mistake. That is why you see, I will never, ever, ever, ever blame Mazen Namdekanu. Mazen Namdekanu is a human being. Don't you know about that? A mistake is always a call. Because he wants to carry everybody along. He wants everybody to come together. <coughs> so that we can restore Biafra. And I keep on saying it. If you are waiting for only IPOB. Under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. To restore Biafra for you. And you will come and begin to enjoy. It's going to take us years. And I love what our people did. On Asari Dokubo case. Karabari people. Don't even mind Asari Dokubo. And we are not going to say that the whole Karabari are bad, impossible. Karabari are my brothers. Ijo are my brothers. Isoko are my brothers. Ibibio are my brothers and sisters. Ebuanke Anam. Now you understand. They are all my brothers. We can never get this. Asari Dokubo is an individual. Who is him to tell you that uh, uh, we are going to kill the Igbo people? And I your blue story. Asari Dokubo cannot do that. It's because of the script they gave to him. He's playing his script. Don't blame him. He have already received the money. You want him to step back? They will buy him. It's a contract. This is how it is. When you are under contract, there is no how. Please close the door, Peter. Please close the door, please. Please, I'm begging, please. Thank you. Asari Dokubo is under contract. It's under contract by Dave Omahi. It's under contract by uh, Hopeless Hose or Demba. They are, they are planning all this thing together. Now, let me bring what Mazishin Asanguru said. Let me bring it. He's, he's, he's not lying. Mazishin Asanguru is not lying. And the Mazishin Asango, like I said, Chukuo Kikabi Ama will protect you for us because they know that Mazishin Asango is a very powerful man. Listen to me, let me tell you people something. Emana, there is adage in our place, said that Nkitana uh, Taro Ada Aboja. Any dog where they back, you know they bite. Any dog where they back, you, you know they bite. Mazishin Asangoru will come out once in a while, speaks to people, panic everywhere. They are panicking. They are panicking. They are panicking. And there is nothing they can do about it. You will keep on waxing. Nothing will happen to you. 
their plan have already failed because we are now exposing it to them. We are in their meeting. That is why we can be able to tell the world their plan ahead. Their plan is to kidnap all the whole leadership because they believe that when they take all these people, Biafra will stop. After they kidnap Mazen Namikan, they don't know that they have a very, very strong species. They don't know that they have a very, very, you know, strong people in this struggle that they, uh, they are not going to shake at all. They are not going to shake. Now, let me show you people something. Let me show you people something. I hope I will find it if they never delete it from Mazen. Because I, 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 I did this, they, they, they quickly... They quickly remove it. Please, can you close the door? Please, I'm still begging you people. Please, close the door. Beat it. Close the door. Beat it. Please, 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 please. Please, close the door. Close the door, please. I want you people to pay attention. I want to bring it. Their plan. Their plan. And then I will explain to you those that are planning it. Wait. Let me bring it. Magician has some all right. Oh, you know, say, where, 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 where? See him, see him. See them. See hope. Who's on them over here? A man who he have massacred our people. See I'm here. A criminal. But let me bring the article. You will see it. Let me bring it. A very criminal indeed. Wow, 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 wow. Where is it? Ah, why I did not uh, make this thing screen. But I will get it. I will get it. Where are we going? Ah, we are here. We are here. We are here. I want you people to tag Asari Dokubo. Tag this uh, Dave Umahi. Tap hopeless. Who's on them over Tell them their plan have failed. You people went to Kenya to kidnap Mazen Namdekan. And today you people don't want to rest. You are now looking for 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 where is this um I, oh I supposed to I supposed to I supposed to push this thing. I don't know why I couldn't push it. I don't know. If anybody is around there, please, I want you to push me this article of Mazishina Samuru, uh, where they are, they are meeting, they plan to, you know, get to the leadership, because that is what they are planning now. They said that uh, the leadership are their problem today, that uh, the leadership are problem to them, that they are going to kidnap every one of them, they are going to plan to kill them. And we are telling them, Asari Dokubo, you will never be better for your Gaha Dragon Amma. No Toto, no Yena for now. Or Gaha Dragon Amma. Believe you me, can nah, eh, when, when uh, Probably they have already removed it. You know, I say, I told you people, as I drop this uh, that uh, article, they just remove it uh, straight away. So let me tell you people what Mazishin Asamuru said. And uh, there is no lie about it. Asari Dokubo. Is a criminal. They for Mahi. They are the people that said they for Mahi you see so, and hopeless also them. They vow that they must deal with Mazen Namdekan. I want you people to know those people that are still holding Mazen Namdekan today. Hope also them were dragon to Tiata say that Mazen Namdekan he can never forgive him. Mazen Namikanu did not do anything to him. Oh. Dave Umahi is there walking on the ground. Upon say he have lost everything in totality. He is there on our bagaling. But I keep on saying this. The coastal region of Biafra. Mazen Namikanu have united us, united us to the extent there is no Jupiter. There is no Jupiter can put asunder between us anymore. We have gotten to that stage that we, nobody, nobody born of a woman. I told you be, because of Mazen Namdekano, I get to understand that coastal regions are my brother. And I have taken them as my blood. We have a lot of our people that fought under these two years. And I keep on, Chukwu Kikabiyama will keep on blessing every media warrior from beginning to the end. Those of you that fought on this Biafran restoration project. Chukwu Kikabiyama will keep on blessing you people for me. 
It does not matter our differences. And I know that we have settled our differences. We are here now to move forward. To tell them that we are more stronger. We are now stronger. And all these things that you people have been seeing all these weeks ago, we are going to begin to bring all our people back again in one platform. That is when shame will be upon you people. Because some of them are doing juju. Some of them are going to native, native doctor. Put counter motion with them. Put a counter motion. Let them begin to fight each other. We are not fighting each other. But we are just trying to settle our differences. And we are already back on the, on the track. Now, uh, before I will go, uh, because I, I want to play you people the video of Mazen Namdekano. What he said about Asari Dokubo. I want you people to know that Asari Dokubo is a criminal. You will hear it from Mazen Namdekano. When Mazen Namdekano told him, oh boy, this army of Biafra you say that you want to come and carry. You want to kill our people overnight? You want to give our people to the zoo overnight? Because Mazin Nam the Kano went on the ground and understand that they have promised Asari Dokubo, go and massacre them, we will give you Emir. You will take control. Now, let us listen to Mazin Nam the Kano. I don't lie. If you people cannot believe me, you must believe Mazin Nam the Kano by fire by force. Now, now, let us listen to Mazin Nam the <clears throat> what he said about Asari Dokubo. Because we don't lie. We don't lie. Now, now listen. Asari Dokubo. Asari Dokubo, this one, you will never go scot free. I swear to you. Unless the Igbo people that we have, unless the Ekumeku people, we are not from Igbo land, except the, what is his name? Uh, what is name of Calabari? They are king of Calabari. If it's not from Igbo land, Asari Dokubo, you say you are you are your ancestors is Igbo people. You are your father, your grandfather, Mami here in Akwako. Asari Dokubo, I don't believe that. Now I want you people to pay attention to Mazen Namdekano. Listen to Mazen Namdekano. The reason why Mazen Namdekano rejected Asari Dokubo, this is the reason why. Pay attention. Give you how much did we give you to support? 
bought Avengers. When I was in prison, which you ate. Avengers never got the money. And you're here talking rubbish, as always. And anyway, my happiness is that the journey should know who you are. They know you're a traitor. They want me. They say you're a traitor. And now I know you are. You see, it's called a double agent. You come again, I'm a Biafra, Biafra. Everybody must be in Biafra. It's a lie. You don't. You don't have the discipline. If I'm not to be like all of you fools, living on the crumbs from the master's table, I'll be a very wealthy man. I don't have any need for it. I went to the Kogan that some useless fools cannot find it in Abba. It's called the Green Street Primary School. When I was in was like Cameroon Road and Primary School, I keep saying it all the time. I went to Library Avenue where I had the best of the best. Coming College on where you were nine, this of Nigeria and Soka. I told my father that if I remain in this school, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll become more stupid than a monkey. Yes, and you travel to learn. My father sent me to go to London. You are right. To go and study. And you open your mouth and you're talking rubbish. I didn't take money from Nigeria when I was in prison. When I was in detention. Is the is the is the money that you want doesn't have that you can take. Who from Jordan has come to my place and you be before? Who I'm asking you? Come artist, come come artist, come who? Or did you steal from me? Did I give you twenty million or not? <coughs> from prison, I gave you money. Did I give you money or not? Yes or no? Will do. Big time food. A very filthy one at that. We must continue. Boss. All right. All right. All right. All right. I hope you people have heard it. I'm not coming here to lie to you people. And uh, when Mazin Namdekan said on his broadcast that he gave Asari Dokubo 20 million. You know, he wanted to lie. We begin to give him the proof. He wants to withdraw himself, say it's a lie. We told him the people that we are there the day he collected the money. Mazin Namde can also call you the name of the people that they stole the money together. Mazin Namde can told you people he organized men to travel from the way all the whole, I mean the the, the great people, they travel from their location to Kotonu to visit that idiot. I told you people, Mazen Namde Kano is a wise man. And mistake will always occur because we are human. Mazen Namde Kano is opening his hand so that everybody can join this struggle. Because he knows only him alone can never restore Biafra. And the mistake we made on Asari Dokubo will be our last. Believe you me, it will be our last. We are not going to trust anybody again. You remember the one in Finland, Onoshi. The same trust the same we are doing well. The same lie lie. I'm a, a legal man. I'm a reserve soldier. Mazen Namdekanu said, okay, if you are Mazen Namdekanu, will not be in London, not be in Finland. How? He can, that is why I'm telling you, deceit, lies can never give us Biafra. And when these people will come and lie to Mazen Namdekanu, will say, okay, if this guy is in this position, probably he can do something. He don't even know they are lying. Another one in America called himself a retired soldier, an idiot. He opened his mouth. He said, hey, when they were setting up ESN, he was involved. A people that cannot keep secret. They can't keep secret. They can't keep secret. That is why he joined autopilot. He came out and said that we are, when they were arranging uh, uh, Biafran uh, uh, ESN, he was a monk who asked him, on your he can't keep secret. And nobody should blame Mazen Namdekalim by involving these people. This is how it is. We need help. 
We can't be saying this alone. We need people. We need people's voice. Because different people with different characters, different way of life, and different, you know, you put your, you compose your things differently. That is why we are not the same. That is why we are different. Today, all of them have deviated. All of them have taken their own script. All of them now are working for Fulanese. I want to tell you people all. And uh, I will begin to descend. I will begin to descend. I said that this broadcast is going to last only one hour. I have five minutes to descend. I know the reason why I'm doing this like this, so that this video will get to them. I want to urge our people, the Igbo people, don't leave this fight only for IPOB. Anything that you can do to stop Asari Dokubo on his mission, because he have already con collected the contract. They have already paid him. You people have to know or what to do. You have to do something to stop that, that, that pig. You have to. You have to stop him. And that is why we're here. This one he called on indigenous people, Ndibo. That we tell him that they have already crossed the boundary. And we are not going to take it easy with him. Dave Omahi and the hopeless Ozo Demba that you people are planning, saying all manners of things, doing your best, and believe you me, your best is not going to give you anything. At the end, you will come back in shame. All your plans have failed. And there is nothing you can do about it. You, there is nothing. You cannot do anything. Devil Omahi. Hopeless. Also, you are there killing our people. Buying our people every single day. Because you are looking for position. Because the Fulani are promising you. And you have forgotten now the same thing they promised Devil Omahi. Rogers, also have you learned? And I believe if Ojo Zokalo did not learn, believe you me, he can never. He can. Oli Sametu, where are you? We fought for you people, isn't it? Your brother is in prison. Having ear problem. Having heart problem. Because of the beating and the, the kind of wozen, the wozen mass in Nambikano. You people are there looking to your, looking your brother. Dying in prison, dying in silence. I want to ask you people, if Mazin Namdekano is out, if he's, he, he's out here with us, do you think that all these things will be happening to you people? The answer is no. Listen to me, let me tell you people something. They are afraid of Mazin Namdekano. Because Mazin Namdekano were sent by Shukoki Kabiyama. That is why they kept him in that DSS dungeon. Because he knows that they are going to lead the election. And he, when he will come, when he will stand on Radio Biafra behind the mic and tell the world, see who won the election. The world will listen. I saw a lot of our people are saying that you think that Mazen Namdekan is stupid like you people. Some are saying that uh, uh, it's now you are going to listen Mazen Namdekan now that Obi is coming. Where is Obi today? Have Obi speak for his brother. Shegumi is there talking about negotiating being between between Boko Haram and Nigerian terrorist government. He's the one that, you know, in between of them. Our own now. You people have rendition of Mazen Namdekano and Awabi. What next? No plan, no position, nothing for you people. No Senate, no police commander, no army general, not, no position. You people are just nothing. And we have been saying this. Igbo people, they have no ground. Are we lying? We don't lie. That is why we are fighting to restore the dignity, the, the kingdom of Chukwokikabiyama on this planet Earth, which is Biafra. 
I salute you all great people of Biafra for listening. The next one that I'm coming here, I'm coming to that idiot called Caterpillar. They say he's a commander. We are going to talk about our issue. Now, wait for him. Make sure you hear this time around. Every day got now about four forty. You know, I told you people, we are on Biafran Television Channel One Frequency. Listen to me, Facebook like they can do whatever they want to do. We are speaking to our people on Frequency. That is the most important. That if you like, you shut Facebook down. We don't care. We speak on Frequency on satellite. The world are listening. Caterpillar, Baba, we are coming. All of you people that massacred and killed our people with infiltrator. I get you on the channel also. Just listen, I'm coming tomorrow for Caterpillar. Can enjoy our Jojo. And if you want for me to bring you on Biafran television, call me. I will bring you. But I want you to understand, I'm going to be asking you a serious questions. And I want you to know that there is no forgiveness. I, I, I will still stand on that. There is no forgiveness. On this Biafran restoration project, there is no forgiveness. There is, you cannot kill our people. You cannot destroy souls of our people. And you think there will be a forgiveness. The answer is no. May the souls of our people that died in this struggle from 1945 up to date rest in peace. May the soul of my brother that died, that I couldn't even travel, may his soul rest in peace. May the soul of our brother, Austrian man, may his soul rest in peace. May the soul of our lovely sister, Marianne T. Heider, a woman that have contributed her quota on this Biafran restoration project, may your soul rest in peace. I salute you, great people of Biafra. I still stand that Asari Dokubo will pay the alley on this one now. Ogafego. Ma, wa Shidia, the wife of our leader, I always uh, greet you and I always know that you always stand resolute. And uh, of course, we know that you are fighting for the right cause. We know that your husband is suffering in DSS dungeon. We know that, you know, you are not divorced. You are still with your husband, but you are still living alone. I know how you're feeling. But Ada, you know there is nothing we can do about it. Mazin Namdekano is a choosing one. And you yourself, you know that. And you know that there is nothing you can also do. Because what Mazin Namdekano is doing is divine. And Chukwo Kikabiyama will keep on protecting him. And he will, he will come out strongly and also come back to you. Because we know that any, anything that Chukwo Kikabiyama put together, no man should come in between. Mazin Namdekano is for you. And you are for the Mazin Namdekano. Ushe she dia. Chukuo kikabi ama goziego. Goziera ayo mogo. Gozikwere na ayo diru. Makan kedi ki ibia. Aye jiro mazen namdekane uwego. And I always tell you the same respect that I'm giving to mazen namdekane. Believe you me. Equal right respect I'm giving to you. And not those cowardice. They will tell you I love mazen namdekane. I hate the leadership. Just imagine how people reason. I love Mazen Namdekano. I hate Mazen Namdekano's wife. And who do who? I will rest my case here. Thank you all. I'm coming back tomorrow on that idiot. Call himself a commander that is working with a the man. They call Caterpillar. I'm now your case is on top of me. I will tell them things about you. I will tell them who you are. I'm not coming here to, you know, to, to pamper you or begin to flog issues. No. I'm, you know, what I'm telling you people now for tomorrow so that this, what I, I, I bring out today, I don't want to jump at it, you know, to flog issues like that is what I mean. Tomorrow I'm coming from that idiot called Caterpillar. 
Great people of Biafra, I thank you all for listening. I want you people to remain resolute, formidable, because we have crossed in the Rubicon. There is nothing they can do about it. This is the part one. You know, I talk about Asari Dokubo. Next, I will come. I will tell people what is behind you and Asari Dokubo. I mean, Dave Omahi. From Dave Omahi now to Asari Dokubo. And how they connected with Hope Ozodemba by killing our people in hinterland. That is the issue for another day. I thank you all. I still remain Mazo Okenna Okechuku. Your royal servant. And Biafra must come in our time. Mazin Namdekanu, you will be free. You know we love you and we are still waiting for you. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing. We are here. Everything that you told us is still in our mind. And we are not coming here now to begin to blab. I thank you all. Remain blessed. Leadership the DOS. You people are wise. Thank you all for listening. And make sure you tag Asari Dokubo, tag Dave Omahi, and tag Hopeless Ozodemba. I'm coming now. Tomorrow will be that idiot called Caterpillar. The next one now will be the connection between Devil Omahi, Hope Ozodemba, to Asari Dokubo. Thank you all for listening. Till we see you again.